Hey there, happy Thursday there. It's me, Victor here, doing one quick video lesson for y'all out there. Um, nightly watch list. I guess I likely will upload this on tonight to air tomorrow or likely this weekend with whatever I end up uploading this weekend. Um, but today, just going to go over some stocks, the ones I'm looking for towards for tomorrow. Um, I am long one stock here in front of you, POTR. Um, recent earnings gapper and runner and nice consolidation here tightness and I got long overnight um, Really we're gonna shut up ideally open range high is the ideal break um, I am long from where am I long from Victor? I think 25 uh, I'm not really sure I forgot um, 25 dollars 25 cents is my average 50 shares very small size because again i'm trading a small account um this has really been one of the patterns i have been researching over the past couple of this two years since i've taken a break off trading um and i am still looking at small cap lands which i'll go over some stocks here in a minute um but really you want to find as i mentioned before one or two specific patterns that you are best at and stick to that over the long run because in the beginning you're not going to know what you're best at and that's completely fine because in the beginning you're just starting out but as you develop as a trader you really want to focus on one or two setups and do it over and over again and this is really one of the setups i've been looking into over the past couple of year year or so um again you have a nice runner you know you have a nice consolidation here we go consolidation and ideally tomorrow or whenever you see this i'm hoping for a gap up if not then my stop is right here, where this line is at right here. That's gonna be my stop point where I would cut the position. Um, ideally, you want the moving averages to surf it as it's doing now with the stocks like this one. Um, and ideally, I wanna sell whenever it closes below the first, the, below the 10, 10 day moving average right here. Um, so I'm along that one. Um, another earnings watchers for tomorrow that gapped up is Frog. Um, as well, open range high break. Um, all of these are really open range high breaks. Um, positive revenues like Shake Shack as well. Um, nice gap up, open range high break. Um, App App is a recent former runner for the past um, positive earnings they had. And again, how do I don't know all this? Um, I highly encourage you to get to Finviz or uh, MarketSmith. They have all that for you. Um, but App has been a recent runner in the past. Um, positive earnings, they beat estimates, um, as you can see here, um, by quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I mean, there was an estimate, 929 million, they surpassed that by quite a bit. So positive data, um, sales are growing, sales are rising. Um, um, so we'll see you tomorrow, okay? So really, you wanna see the stocks that people are dying to get in, and this is a recent runner of the past. As you look left, you see the right. Um, a long time ago, of course, back whenever we had, well, it ran before. You know, it had a nice gap, so continu continu continuation. Um, but we'll see what happens with that one. Major volume. Always pay attention to volume, okay? Um, and whenever you're trading, you want to be focused on the fast moving stocks, the ones that are most liquid. You don't want to be in any stocks that are illiquid because then it's not going to move, okay? And one more thing before I go. You really want to focus eye with high ADR right here. It's average daily range. Um, anything over than 5% is ideally my go-to move. The higher the ADR, the more the stock is going to move, okay? I learned that over the course of the past couple of years. As I mentioned, I'm still learning. Um, but apps, open range highs. Um, another one, PLMR, same type of deal. But again, not that much volume compared to the rest. So that's really on the back burner there. Um, Trip is another great example of what I've been talking about. Um, again, I didn't participate in none of these. But I'm just saying, um, nice gap up sideways, and earnings was today. It seems like, um, as you can see here, I do. But that one's cool. Um, CC is one to watch down the road. Um, they have earnings next to next Thursday, a week from today. They have earnings, so this is primarily running up in anticipation of that. And for me, I don't again, all this is not advice, but I never really want to hold a stock into earnings, you always want to play the reactions. So, ideally, I would want this to somewhat um, ideally re reject this level until next Thursday. I, I want it to pull back towards these moving averages. 
Because again, you don't want to buy when it's up here. You're buying way above the moving average. That's that's terrible risk reward. Your time to buy is right here, or really when it breaks these lines I have here. Okay, and I didn't trade it. Okay, I wish I could have. But this is the type, this is the type of setup I'm looking for. You know, you have a major move. Okay, goes up again, rejects, and you have a sideways base here. And your time to enter is in this range here. Okay, that's the primarily my setup I'm trying to master right now. With one more, I'm not going to go over the other one right now. But it's pretty much I'm trying to teach y'all. Well, hopefully y'all can learn from that. Um, so ideally, next Thursday they have earnings. Ideally, again, I mean look look at the chart here. I'm in ADR is almost 10%. Um, major major volume. Okay, look at the volume here. Always pay attention to volume. Volume trumps all. Okay, compared to the recent history, you know. Um, so we'll see. It's gonna be very interesting for sure to see. Um, what happens? I mean, I, if this does break over that level, then so be it. Good, congrats. Um, have fun with that. Um, AOI is another one as well that is going to report earnings, I believe, next Thursday. Um, again, recent runner of the past, positive earnings from the past. It has proven to be a runner after making earnings, as you can see in the move here and here. Okay, so next week it is going to report earnings and i believe it's on a thursday if i'm not mistaken um i may be wrong but let me see uh let's see here yeah i think it's next yeah next thursday a week from today or here it is. so we'll see um ideally again same with ccc i wanted to reject that level um but we'll see you know i can't really control what the market does. The market's going to do what it wants to do. Um, sorry for going back to both of these charts here. But ideally, again, you want, I would like this to reject this level and consolidate. Then heading into next week, um, whatever the earnings is, if it's positive, it's negative, you play the chart. And that's what I'm looking forward on that one. I mean, if it does break out, it has to be convincing volume. Um, other than that, I'm not going to buy it. But I will still trade this if it's breaks out, but it has to be convincing. I would not want this to gap up um, over this resistance level without having any more more sideways. Like this is what I want right here. I want tightness. I mean, it's kind of loose, but I want I want a tight range, okay? Like I guess we saw here, you know, a tight was a gap up, bad example. Um, but you want tightness. That's really what you want, okay? And that's why I got long, let me go back to it, PLTR. That's why I got long this one. Okay, it's kind of it may gap down, it may not break over the high day range, but I got long in anticipation of that, okay? And who knows, again, my stop point's right here, but look left, okay? This has been a recent runner in the past, okay? Back in 2020, you know, the monster bull run market back in the day. It has proven itself it can run. So ideally, we're going to see what plays out, um, again, can run. So we'll see on that one, okay? Uh, but I am long over, overnight that one, and I'm not going to sell until it proves itself otherwise. Again, for a swing trader, you, it's, it's normal to be in a range compared to me if I were to be day trading. Um, now, I do still look at stocks within the small cap sector, but it just they move so fast, and I work at a nine to five job. Therefore, I'm always near my entry. Whereas in this type of market, I'm able to set a stop loss and forget it, set a stop loss and let the trade work for me that makes any sense um so that is why i am more comfortable putting my money in one of these stocks that i know has a reason to go up okay compared to something like one of the hot runners today soun i mean yeah they had a positive news with nvidia um buying a percentage of this company okay so perhaps this can gap up tomorrow and this is one of the top plays i'm looking forward towards this upcoming week um, ideally, open range highs. Over this high day break, I will get long. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And same with PLTR, you know. Um, whatever you're buying, understand, always ask why. Always ask, you, you want fuel, you want a reason for a stock to go up. If you're long, and vice versa, if you're short, you want a reason for it to go down, okay? Um, okay? But coin is another one, positive earnings. Now, I'm not going to talk about Bitcoin. I want to save that for a future video recap because I do want to talk about sector momentum and what to do, what not to do. Because I've seen 
what's it, one, I've seen three sector runs in the past, and we're coming up on a Bitcoin run here. I have tons of Bitcoin stocks that I really want to talk about. Um, I'll do that perhaps in the future, for sure in the future, uh, because we have a halving coming up in April, and that's really what leads to all these massive runs like we've been seeing on Coin and many others. Um, I have a list here. I always make a list, and I always encourage you to make a list of the hottest stocks. CLSK is a prime example. Okay, five star setup. This is a massive five star setup. Five star. You have a major run, a pullback, reclaim of the moving averages, and positive earnings with volume. Okay, that is to a T. And ideally, this is what you look at here massive run, sideways, then another run. Okay, that's really. The play I'm trying to get down in my mind right now, and you only do that by looking at the same things over and over again in the long run. Okay, but same with uh, Mara, same type of play. All of these, though, I did not want to break out. CLSK had a good reason, earnings. Um, but I'm gonna go over these down the road. I'm, this video is gonna be too long, but I want to do a separate Bitcoin down the road. Okay, I will. Um, but other than that, that's really the ones I'm watching for tomorrow. Uber as well, um, for instance, is a nice continuation trade. Nice earnings, and as you can see here, it's this is what you this is what an earnings winner should do. You know, you want a reason for it to go up, positive impact on the stock. And I'm saying with Lyft, I think Lyft had a great day two today as well. Um, yeah, here you go, positive. Okay, positive, positive. I mean, yeah, why did I not add this to my watch list? I should have. Um, no, not that. Huh. But as an earnings, you want to see. Um, throw it up here. You want to see this, you know, a positive earnings report this past week and a gap up and run, okay? And ideally, open range highs. If you missed the first day, right here on the second day, buy open range highs. You had opportunity to do that. If you missed the first day, you know, right here, open range highs. Low of day is, low of day is your stop loss point, and you would still be in it. And I didn't trade it, I should have. Um, but this is what you really want to pay attention to, is these runners like this. And that's really what I'm kind of trying to focus on with my small accounts right now. Now, but again, that does not mean I am not um, paying attention to the small cap sector. I am. I look every day, every... I'm at work, so I look pretty much every day at what's moving in the markets. And again, you don't want to trade randomly, okay? You want to focus on one or two specific setups that work over and over again and build your account organically. And the opening range high pattern is something I'm trying to learn and master, and this is one example right here, SGMO. You know, big move, sideways, and high day break right here. I didn't trade this, because for some reason I have Charles Schwab, and they limit, I wired some funds to them, and they limit me trading on these penny stocks for about a week or two, I'm not sure why, it's kind of dumb. But I would have bought, I would have got long this, and there's really no news on this, and that's really why I'm trying to emphasize to you that whatever you're buying, yes, the setup matters, but you want a catalyst, you want fuel for it to go, okay? And who knows, this may continue to run, but it may fade, okay? And same with Roma, um, well, same with ILAG. ILAG is the same type of play here. Um, you know, it's kind of, well, ignore this setup, this is not, this is a, this is a choppy, bad, but, but not, oh, it's a somewhat setup, but just so choppy. There's no pattern there, really, in my opinion. Um, one, for instance, two, um, recent run in the past. Look how it's going sideways here. Massive volume, well, six million. So this is a, one of the small cap sector ones I'm watching for a high day break over this 680 level. Um, ideally with volume and with convincing fashion. We'll see on about that one. Um, other than that, there's really nothing else I am watching. There is a couple, but I really don't want to make this long lucid is one as well you know that news recently this past week major volume look how it's going sideways here so ideally you want opening range highs over this break here with volume and we'll see what happens on that one um but again i want to end this here because the longer the sell is the longer the less people that will watch it i know that for sure um but i am long overnight um how do i Sorry, I'm trying to do this something real quick. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, I am long overnight, um, POTR. Ideally, whatever happens, um, again, there's no need to 
panic if this does not gap up tomorrow. It's the swing. We're going to let it ride, and we'll let the stock play out, okay? But other than that, again, key takeaway here is just focus on what works for you. Understand that in a... Always think trading in a series of trades, okay? Focus on one or two setups, and think of it in a series of trades. And In a 21 span trading like let's say you took 25 trades okay i want you to focus doing the same or two patterns in that 25 trade sample size do not deviate from it okay and it's all about playing the odds you're not going to win 25 out of 25 but you're also not going to lose 25 out of 25 but the odds are very rare that happens but your goal is to minimize your risk okay that is it um but long POTR and the ones I'm watching as well are the other earning gappers for the week. And tomorrow's a Friday, so we'll see. Always, there's always Friday runners out there in the morning with the small cap sector. So perhaps I'll see some of those. Um, but other than that, stay safe. And again, all this is not advice. It's just for education purposes only. Um, but I will see y'all this Sunday to talk about some other things. I'm happy to